Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Playing around here, trying to pair my DJI N1 or 231 with my Mini Pro 3. I failed on Android, but during that process, I did find this cool program called DJI Assistant 2, and it's headed here, Consumer Drone Series. So it uploads firmware manually via your PC, and it supports all these products here, which is pretty good. I couldn't actually see the product that I was trying to update listed, because mine is the RC231 model, I couldn't see that on it. But anyway, I plugged it in and look what happened. So what you do is once you've got to this page and the link's in the description, you click either Windows or Mac. I use the XC here for Windows and you get this program, okay? Now, to my surprise, it works really well and simple. So what you do, at one end of the my USB-C cable is in the PC. The other end, we turn on the remote control. You can see it flashing there. When I plug in, the USB-C, look what happens. It instantly finds that I'm connected to the DJI RC M1. I click it and it works really well. It lists not just the current firmware, but older firmware, which is, I thought was really good. Um, so it gave me, a, you know, uh, something to try and do whilst I was trying as, as a log export and DJ Assistant log there as well. Anyway, it didn't work, it didn't solve my problem. I'm not sure, I've got an Android problem, I feel, because as soon as I connected the device to my iOS or my Apple iPhone 10, it worked straight away. But anyway, I still think this is quite a cool program. So if I unplug it, and now turn on the Mini Pro 3, and I've got the Mini Pro 4 now, so I'm really enjoying the hobby of flying these drones. I've just turned on the, the Pro, I'm going to plug it in to the USB and you watch what happens. Eventually it finds it and look, DJ Mini Pro 3. Click that. You've even got calibration here. I'm not going to try anything now. So it's doing what the app can do and it's saying here that I can upgrade but I'm not going to touch that at the moment. I'll let the the iOS app do the upgrade, I think, because at least it, when I used the iOS app, it flew fine and connected fine. So if anyone can help me and shed any light on why it wouldn't, it won't connect to the Android app, like, that would be appreciated. I've got a new Samsung, Samsung Galaxy 22 and I'm using the uh, another modern Android phone and it just won't connect. As soon as I connect my iPhone, it works great. So thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air, 7.3, all the best, 7.3.